We begin with new developments following a gruesome discovery in Detroit. A woman's body found partially buried on the city's east side has now been identified. Thank you for joining us for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Brian Abel. Family identifying the woman as Alyssa Itchu, who went missing back in September after leaving a rehab center. A utility worker finding her remains last Wednesday in the backyard of a home on Hilldale Street. Police saying it could take another week to determine how she died. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig spoke with Alyssa's mother, who believes there are signs that her daughter was murdered. I guess living in the streets, you know, living the life that she was living, anything could happen. As devastating as it's been knowing it was her daughter whose body was found in a shallow grave on Detroit's east side, Sonia Smith is not surprised. For several years, she says her daughter Alyssa battled drug abuse, heroin, and she figured it was only a matter of time before she'd get that call. Detective called me and they said, you know, the body, is, the body type is the same, the hair is the same. You know, it was, I pretty much knew it was her before. They In mid-November, Detroit police released 28-year-old Alyssa Itchu's photo seeking help in finding her. The last time Sonia talked to her daughter was in September. Alyssa had been in a drug rehab facility. She was supposed to be getting help. She was supposed to because she was homeless. But she didn't tell them she was homeless. So they just discharged her because she said she was going to live with me. So they didn't call and verify or anything. So they just let her go. Then in November, Sonia says a friend of her daughter's had been hearing rumors that she was dead. November 13th. Her ex-boyfriend um, had started telling a friend a few things, saying that she had been killed by a drug dealer in Detroit. Sonia said when they didn't hear from her daughter, she figured she was back here in the Seven Mile and Van Dyke area. Alyssa's body was found behind a house just five blocks from here. I just felt in my heart that it was her. And this mother believes it was foul play. Detroit police now waiting for the medical examiner to determine how Alyssa died and investigating who buried her in a shallow grave behind this house. I want the people that, that harmed her, if they, you know, I, I truly believe that somebody hurt her. I mean, who would have buried her? If, if it was just an overdose, she wouldn't have been buried. I just, in my heart, I feel that. Somebody hurt her. If anyone has information on what happened, you're urged to call Detroit police homicide detectives. Just to call police and let them know so we can, you know, get, save other people from this happening to them. On Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.